Hi, it's Derpy Moose 99 and today we're going to do episode 12 of Grow Big or Go Home. And not sure exactly how much longer this is going to run. All depends on the, the PC gods. Uh, right now we're sitting at 2,750 people. And education is good. Happiness has fallen, so I might do something I don't usually do. But we'll see here. Our food graph is slowly incrementing. We'll have to do something about that if we want to get much bigger population. And in general, I think we're... Uh, I'll give us the curse of death here. I think we're doing pretty good. Got over 5,000 logs. We got 8,800 stone. Iron's a bit low at 1,800. Fuel bounces around, but it, we, we're currently uh, just coming into winter. We should be okay at 10,000. Uh, let's see here. Tools are really good. Coats are really good. And our total food is 942,000. And of course the biggest we can go is all nines. Excuse me. Um, burping after lunch here. So if we look at our food limit here. We're at six nines or one less than a million. So I kind of actually like to hit that limit. I think that'd be cool. I've never done that before. So that'll be one of the objectives. Yeah, okay, Grace. Like, we'll just play it by ear. I'm not sure how long this this uh, this town's going to go here. And we're on 5 speed because our frame rate is bouncing around. 22, 24, 20. Yeah, that's... Certainly still playable on five here, so I'm gonna go as long as this is still playable Or if I kill the whole town off which you know could happen All right, so um, Let's try and catch up on what we're doing here I think we we're expanding down here. Oh, yeah my weird farm size down here And up here we were doing some mining, I think. Yeah, okay, let's set these guys up here. Oh yeah, and fuel refinery, that was the big thing there too, okay. So we want 10. And, yeah, I wish it was defaulted to 10, I really do. Right, that's 18 people we need there. And, oh, we can make copper directly, that's cool, okay. And that was 12 people. Alright, um, okay, and that's upgradable, and those are upgradable, so that's all good. Now we probably need some roads and some storage here, so let's do that. And now I recall last time I couldn't figure out what kind of storage the tin was using. I'm gonna bet, well, let's put a mineral stockpile. And then I think there's something called a general warehouse here. So I'm going to plunk one of those in. And then let's just put a... Okay, so that's a general stockpile, a mineral stockpile, and a general warehouse. And we'll just see what happens there. Um... I might actually put another tin mine or two in while we're here. Well, let's say one more for now. Now, then the idea was to put a bunch of hunting blinds over here. So, let's put our storage on the side here. Uh, 
Um, I think last time I checked, there was around 85,000 duck. Um, I'm gonna have a quick look here. I hit the right key here. All right, so 128,000 duck. Um, and fish we have... Not much fish. That's actually surprising. Well, we're, we're going to salt what fish we have anyways. Um, but we're mostly, I think we're going to... We're going to work on canning the duck here. And I think there was actually... Um... Yeah, it was like, um... Clay amphora or something. Let's put one of those in while I think of it. That's pottery. This is the one that does amphora. Um, I think there was, there's three off the main town here. And I think we put two more down where the rice was. And we could probably put a few in like shore docks in as well too, here and there. Like that's a pretty prime spot there. If we hadn't built a road there. Hmm. Well, if I get rid of those two chunks of road. There's another one there. Yeah, so let's put a few fishing docks along there. I mean, our food graph isn't super great anyway, so we might as well do that. Well, I have to guess that they're probably eating the fish. Um, you know, all those uh, homes along the dock there, but yeah, that does seem a little strange. Alright, where's our meat locker here? And let's see. Up in here looks pretty good too. Okay, keep clicking on the wrong one here. We should add some more houses over here too. It's not the most beautiful housing development in the whole world, but... Okay, so that's two, and then... Probably add a few more if we wanted to. Yeah. Might as well prioritize this removal here just so we can do it. <laughs> you know, that's probably... <laughs> Alright, that's three fishing docks. That'll help a little bit. 
Now, what are we doing here? Where's our hotkey here? Okay, I'm gonna change the hotkey for B over to this one here. Okay, let's actually look what our housing situation is in the officially here. Wow, I'm actually caught up in the head on housing. That's like some kind of major miracle. You know, I was going to do something about happiness too. Not something I usually do here, but let's put a cemetery in. Zombie Tombstone Cemetery. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we'll just go normal here. Oh, doesn't quite fit. We're gonna put that in. Where else would be a good spot here? This isn't really forest node here. So somewhere... Okay, I can't see where the gates are here. Well, we'll put it in anyways. Well, I think it was one off, so... A little bit sad about that, but we can double road it here. And probably wouldn't kill us to put another bridge in, too. Alrighty. Yeah, that part of it lined up good too, and over here as well. Alright, there's one of our fishing docks. Put that one up. Hey, our cooper here. We want you making barrels here. And our salt works. Which one was that? That was over there, okay. And how many people we can put in there? Quite a few, okay. Five. And there's a salting house here. Oh yeah, I forgot we can do all kinds of stuff here too. Um, I was going to do fish here, but we could do llama. Well, let's see how much fish we can do. Let's actually consult the inventory here. And let's sort it by quantity. Wow, we have quite a bit of bison, a little bit more beef actually. Uh, beef cut salt in a barrel. Well, why don't we put in... Okay, oh and these, yeah, these little smoker guys, okay. Cool. Um, I think because we have all those, um, I'm pretty sure that was just raw beef, right? Yeah, raw beef, raw bison, and raw llama. So, we have a bunch of butchers, but I guess not enough. Okay, so let's slam a bunch of butchers around the town here. Alright, so let's deal with uh, beef first here. And 
in a couple spots here and there. Okay, that's llama and bison was the other one here. I didn't really do an awesome job of storage over here, so let's put some storage in as well. Maybe one there and one there. Okay, and we've got, these are the dairies we wanted to put into. So, not really clear to me how much milk we have, so let's crank all of these on. I think this is probably overkill, but let's see how they do. Okay, so that's 18 people. Hmm. Actually gonna take some builders out here. So let's make that. I don't know, 150 for the moment here. Okay. Alright, and we should deal with these guys here too. Now, do we have storage around here? Not so much really, right? Now, I don't think I've used these before, so... There's no recipe, they just got smoker there, so, and it looks like a fish, so, I don't know, let's put them in and see what they do. Let's see. Okay, so that guy is doing beef and fish. No, why don't we actually change this one? Let's make this, um, bison. So beef bison and llama meat was the other one. So let's try and remember where we found these here. Yeah. I, uh, ooh, we're going to have to do a little bit of, a little teeny bit of surgery there. Okay, so we got to remember that one's on Llama. Now these are cool little chimneys, but if they do fish, that would be, that'd be a good one to remember because they were pretty cheap to build, easy to build. Okay, there's another cooper and we want that on barrels, so let's turn that on. Our fishing dock here. Okay, and our two fuel refineries here, so I think the choices are firewood, charcoal, Coal. Oh, interesting. Okay. And I think we're doing quite a bit of coal production. So let's have a look here. Charcoal is 1970. Coal is only 648. And firewood was the other one, I guess. And that's 9500. So I think firewood's the winner for now. So let's fully populate these guys. So that doubles our industrial fuel, so that should be okay for now. Um, let's maybe increase that limit to 2,000 though. And see if they can achieve it. Okay, probably put another storage thing in here. I thought I put 
Okay, not sure exactly what I was doing. But that should be okay now. Okay, now, are these carbon steel, carbon steel, carbon steel? Alright, everything's doing carbon steel at the moment, which is good. Alright, here's our amphora here. Uh, clay and charcoal I'm going for. Okay, and we're just going to make one of those for now. Okay, there's one of the meat lockers. I don't actually care about that. I didn't put a meat locker here, though. I do care about that, so let's fix that. have to remember at some point here we're going to have to add about 12 butchers or so. Alright, here's some more fields, so let's get those going here. Um, looks like I forgot to build up here though. Yeah, so let's quickly fix that. We'll put a crop field in here. there. Um, what do we have as far as crops here? We went walnut, grapefruit, apple. Okay, and that's tomatoes, so broccoli. And oats again. Yeah, I have to remember that we have those two pastures, and I'm pretty sure we're looking for longhorns. And chicken was the other one. Okay, and that's grape. I think we're working up on the bottom down here. Oh, I think I'm going to go cherry, though. Because we are making cherry pie, so... I don't know why every time I stream my allergies start kicking in, but no, we'll get through. Okay, um, looks like this guy is close to building here. Now, how are we doing on stockpile here? So let's log in stone in there, log in there, tin ore there, but no actual tin. So I bet you the tin's being carried all the way over to here. Yeah, there's certainly some tin in there. Hmm. Yeah, I think, um, I think that's a pretty good bet on the... I think it's mold. I should probably get it checked out. Um, we got a fair number of houses over here. I think I'll slam a few more in. Maybe like around here or something. Okay, and let's go a little bit crazy on our uh, hunting blinds here.
All right, um, that's gonna work, I think. Okay, getting a little slow to scroll here, so that's okay. Okay, this guy built, let's put him on tin, get the people in there. Hey, Carlos, how's this going? Just doing a little bit of grow big or go home. It's starting to slow down the computer a bit, so I'm not too sure how long we're gonna do this one, but we'll do it until the computer kind of gives out on us here. All right, now I want to do some duck canning is what I want to do. Yeah, now I don't have air, air conditioner. I got a big fan going, but I'm, it's not too bad here. It's about 70, 75. But Grace is on and she's in uh, Pennsylvania and it's over 90, which is getting a little bit warm for me. I think I borked that here. Let's try that again. So I think for now I'm going to put two of these in. Oh no, we have a big backlog, don't we? Why don't we actually put six of them in and see how that goes? I think the other thing we should do is clear out. Give ourselves a bit of visibility here, maybe clear up to here too. Um, let's actually clear all this stuff out. Doesn't hurt to have extra material kicking around. Clear all that out, clear all this out. Alright, I'm gonna save here just just cause I've done a bunch of building and I don't wanna lose it. Indiana, okay. Hey, poetic poison, hi. How's it going today? Okay, not too sure. Yeah, we're gonna need a few more of these here. How are you guys doing for storms? Is it just the heat or are you getting storms too? forest fires but the forecast doesn't show any more rain until <laughs> a long time so we're gonna see how it goes here okay this is a bit of a mess here isn't it I wonder if we can put some kind of I'll have to wait till it all clears off here I'm thinking put maybe a small village center here just to sort of help maybe a bunch of uh, more hunting blinds along the creek there okay so this salting house here that one is set to beef that one's bison and this one was going to be llama I think and yeah Too many in there. 
or this isn't set up properly, that's your choices. Alrighty. Yeah, let's check that. Bar wooden fish and smoked fish, so... I don't know, I can live with that, those are kind of cool. Probably would make even sense to distribute them a bit, you know, put them around where the fishing docks are or something. Assuming there's enough housing and stuff like that. Okay, now we're looking... Oh, Longhorn Kyle's too cool for school. This is one of the ones we've been waiting for here. Um, 7200 that would be, right? Okay, now I gotta do math. So I think that would be... 8, uh, 900 per few. All right, we have longhorns. And the only non-trade animal that we need now is chicken, I think. All right. I have derped on something here. Hey, guys. Okay, no, there they go, okay. Just took a minute for the game to get around to it. You know, I probably should have special ordered chicken, but... Oh well. Yeah, I was gonna pin all these and I forgot here. Now, yeah, I kind of really built a lot of those. You know, I wonder if we can tin uh, cow and llama and pig and all that kind of stuff, too. Um, I'm starting to think we should actually expand more than just the four. Alright, so let's do that. Uh, let's cancel removal out that way. I don't think we're going to need more than three copper mines, so let's do this here. Yeah, that sounds like a real good plan too. We should probably get into a like, full preservation here of food here. Just to make it go a little bit farther. We'll let those build and then we'll let all the land clear off. And we'll finish our roads and our storage and all that fun stuff there. Alright, and there's a hospital over there. Probably should think about moving that hospital up a bit. You know, or we could even just add another hospital here. Somewhere up in there. Town's getting pretty big, so it wouldn't hurt to have a few extra hospitals kicking around. Yeah, I think we built... Yeah, there's one there. We could probably build some more down this way, though. Alright, so why don't we build another couple of hospitals here while we're thinking about it. Okay, the frame rate is um, 
dipping down around 15 frames per second now. Hmm. Still playable, that's okay. All right, so the harvest is coming in. Let's just keep an eye on it and see how high it goes here. Right now it's about 9.59. Hmm. I think the ch regular chickens also give eggs. But I'm not 100% on that. Um, let's see where we have them here. I think the leghorns were around here somewhere. Okay, these are the leghorns here. Yeah, so that, those ones are given eggs, fertilizer, feathers, and chicken. It's nice of them to call it fertilizer. Um, yeah, and we'll get the regular chickens here, find out what that's, uh... But I think regular chickens were eggs, too. Like, we got these dog... Yeah, these guys are eggs for sure, right? No fertilizer. <laughs> Now, what other kind of preservation do we want to do here? You know, there's jams and stuff, so we should probably make sugar, I think, right? Oh, you know, we could do a bit of a honey installation, too. Yeah, yeah, well, you got me thinking and wondering too, so. Um, we'll keep checking the farm trader there. Maybe if the animal guy comes back, I'll, uh, I'll special order some chickens. We have lots of resources to pay a premium, so. Nothing to worry about there. Okay, let's have a look at this tinnery. This is a meat tinnery here. Does fish, beef, mutton, venison, chicken, duck, llama, Horse, pork, seal, and oyster. Oh, seal. Interesting. Okay. Well, these guys we built here are going to do all duck. Um, three, I guess. But that makes me think that maybe we could go over to where we've got all our... Uh, whaling ships here and we gotta have a whole bunch of seal meat here yeah for sure now I didn't see whale in there but that's okay and everybody please remember this is a game a game only um all right so let's put more of these down I'm gonna say Um, yes, you are correct. Oyster as well, yeah. So I don't know if we actually have oyster at the moment. Oh, you know what we should put in? We should put in some of those, uh, the other dog set that they're, we're playing with in Golden Llama. And set, you know, do the random one. And that'll get all kinds of stuff we can use. And there's a bunch of hunting blinds there. Let's see. Well, Drews, if, if you just kind of... Um, it's okay to do that, right? Like, Megamon's so huge here. I kind of, the way I... And I'm retired, so I have a lot of time to do this, but I'll play a game, then I'll say, okay, next game I want to investigate um, making jam, right? So I'll do a bunch of that for a couple hours, and then I go, okay, the next game I want to do salting. 
Next game, I want to investigate what you can do with a copper mine, like something like that, right? So don't try and take it all on kind of thing, but just sort of uh, ease into it in installments or something like that. And um, I, I found out by playing that series on Pure Vanilla that actually playing on Mega Mod, it's easier to get the town to survive because you have more options. So, uh, you know, despite the fact that I kill towns and stuff like that, Occasionally, um, it is easier, you know, to handle the basics, right? Because you have all kinds of options in the mini buildings and the teeny buildings and stuff like that. So, yeah, regular banished is um, well, it's what got me hooked in the first place. But I was looking for mods pretty quick. Um, what regular banished is is kind of repetitive, right? So once you figure out how to survive, if you want to grow the town, you just do more of the exact same stuff you've already done. And what I like about Mega Mod here is you say, okay, like on this town here, I started with what I would call a standard start with four forest nodes. And that's all pretty basic stuff, right? Um, yeah. Well, if you're learning the vanilla game, um, what Grace already always says, and I think she's right, is just go for the uh, achievements. So you see these achievements here, right? So these are kind of decide. There's not really a tutorial, but what they're designed to do is if you can start taking some of these off, you'll have to learn the basics of the game to get these down, right? So some of them are focused on village size, but, you know, some of them will lead you down different paths here so that's one thing to do um the other approach i think is um practice your first 10 or so years and try and get a, a routine where you've got when you start a town there's certain things you do to establish a base and then once you have a base going you can branch off and do different things right And if you want, there's there's some good tutorials out there too. Like I've got a couple that I think are okay. Uh, Pinstar's got one that's really old, but it's called Crossroads Build, which is kind of the Bible for a lot of us. Yeah, give it a try. And uh, don't be afraid to fail. I've got some embarrassing number of hours and I still kill towns off, so... Um, oh uh, yeah, um, this is actually Mega Mod 9 that I'm playing, and Colonial Charter is one of the, so here's the Colonial Charter set up here, is one of the mods that are included in the pack. So Colonial Charter is a good, um, if you don't want to tackle Mega Mod, um, go for Colonial Charter. And I'm pretty sure it's in the Steam Workshop, I know Mega Mod is for sure. I think, Grace, you use Colonial Charter, don't you? Maybe... Yeah, see, I don't know, but I would suspect it probably is. I know last time I looked, the Black Liquid website was down, but you could still download Mega Mod. I think Colonial Charter is on the Steam Workshop, actually. Yeah, okay. Now, is this one of the, yeah, this is one of the duck ones here. Citrus corner up here. Man, I keep forgetting to click that. Okay, and what we got there? We got oats and we've got beans. So let's go corn there. Get 
Another pasture and farm building up there. Or orchard and farm, I should say. A mega mod. Um, let me show you here. Now, you have to have a lot of memory in your computer to run this, like 32 gig of RAM, I would say, to run this. But you can see Mega Mod 9 here, and it comes in seven parts. And uh, I've actually got a tutorial video on my YouTube channel on how to load it. Yeah, um, I don't know if it, it might run with 16, but it Mega Mod takes a lot of memory in your computer. Um, it takes, yeah, okay. So then what you should probably do is look at um, Colonial Charter. Uh, which is a really good uh, mod set, or there's some red catch-up stuff that's really good too. So I'd look on the Steam Workshop and see. I think Grace said that Colonial Charger's on the on the workshop. Oh yeah, Mega Mod uh, Six is on the workshop, and that's actually what Grumpy Gnome uses. And uh, yeah, no, that's got almost all the stuff that Mega Mod Nine has, and it doesn't use as much memory for sure. So I think on the Steam Workshop, Mega Mod 6 is Mega Mod uh, 0.06 or something like that. But if you just, yeah. <laughs> Nine's the latest. But if your computer doesn't have 32 gigs, then try and go for 6, which will show up as, yeah. All right, um, could probably use a few more houses down this way too. How are we doing on housing? I am ahead on housing here, bizarro. Okay. I'm going to have to go easy on the housing for a while here. Okay, now this is all being built, so... Okay. Probably should have some roads going up here, but I'm not exactly sure. Do that and then let's run. Um, do we want another couple of fields over here? It's not going to line up super great though, is it? Why don't we kind of reserve that for industrial area? Um, I think it's all one word, like mega mod, but try it both ways. Oops, I don't think I set that one on duck, did I? Okay, that says duck, that says duck. And that one hasn't quite built. That one says duck. That one says duck. Okay. Now we should check on how we're doing with flour and all that fun stuff too. Okay, and... There's two more tenneries building over here. Okay, and those are the ones for seal, I think. I don't think we're getting oysters and stuff out of these things down here.
Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm playing here. But that's the one that takes 18 gig of RAM or whatever, so... Okay, and this is gonna be duck. Um... Now, Mega Mod itself takes um, 18, roughly. Um, so if you have 16, right? So if you have anywhere north of 18, you're okay. Like, um, but typically people go 16, 32, 64 kind of thing. But honestly, memory is pretty cheap these days. It's actually quite surprisingly cheap. So. You know, I just bought um, 64, and uh, it was like two some 200 and something Canadian, which is probably about 50 bucks American, I would think. Yeah, oh, six is the one to play if you got, and it's got almost all the stuff, anyways. Okay, let's throw a bridge down here too. I want to make sure we got enough bridges here. What Mega Mods then is a collection of mod sets. So, um, like on the toolbar here, not sure how clearly this comes through, but so this is a mod set. That's the Colonial Charger mod set. There's a Red Ketchup mod set. So, basically, what the author did, Krayler, is he collected all the different mod sets up and then put them into one big mod package. So, you can subscribe to individual mods. Or you can just take Mega Mod and then play the parts that you want to, kind of thing. But if you look at the basic housing bar here, like I've got wooden and stone houses, but then I've got all the housing types from the Colonial Charter. Then there's all the housing types from the Red Ketchup stuff, etc., etc., right? So instead of having two housing types, you have like 100 or 150, kind of thing. All right, um, let's see. Let's do a bit of a stat check here. Where are we at? We're inching up on the food still, so we're at 971 in spring here. All right, we're almost, uh, we're 2920 20 or so people. Yep, yeah, that's what we're saying, yeah. Yeah, the reason Mega Mod 9 is 7 parts is because it's so large, right? And that's why it uses so much memory. So go with the .6, yeah. Okay, and you guys aren't building because... I don't think we're short lumber again here. Now let's throw a priority here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna run the road up here. We can always remove it later if it gets in the way of something. It's okay, because we're going to have a lot of it. Alright, and those two tinneries are for seal, I think. Okay, I'm just going to check the big job bar and see where we're sitting here for hunters. I think we're okay here. Yeah, 48. Alright, and this is seal meat here. And 
and so is this one. Alright, so three more tin mines to build. Oh, two, I guess. Yeah, I'm just going to go on mute for a minute and drink some coffee here. Yeah, the pig timer just went off while I'm mute there. Um, 